Oh, hello, dear viewer. It is Uncle John here one more time uh, doing a beer review, doing the last beer review from the Beer Awards of the year. That's last year, not this year. Um, from Beer 52, uh, it's their 10th anniversary. Um, yeah, which is pretty good being around that long. Pretty cool. And the beer in question is this one. It's won an award for the best. Whoops. Best Pale Ale, if you can read that, there we go, it focuses on there, uh, for Steeplechase Pale Ale by Round Corner Brewing. And there is an article around here about how they did uh, am <coughs> amazing work over COVID times and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Now, I've been having a look at the actual hops and malts in this beer. And it is absolutely ridiculous. But let me show you the beer first. Um, there we go. Round Corner Brewing. Uh, steeplechase Pale Ale for a 0.4% on the ABV. And it's not just Beer 52. It has won some other awards. Uh, well, the brewery has at the very least. Um, and there's a little thing on there about... Um, Right, let's read this. It says, on a fateful night in 1890, 11 riders in pajamas set to jumping fences and ditches so they, uh, they could barely see, apparently, cheered on by a crowd who couldn't see them at all. Um, yeah, steeplechase, eh? That is completely nuts. Um, for those that could remember, the next day it was unforgettable. Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't have been able to see. They wouldn't know what's going on. How would you know who won? Okay. Anyway, this beer uh, has New World pa uh, Hop Pale Ale. It's a uh, lovingly brewed to call adventure from our colourful past to yours. Very, very interesting. And this, uh, their brewery was in Melton Mowbray, which I think was quite cool. Um... Okay, describing the beer itself, which is kind of what I thought. Look at that, that's really psychedelic, those stripes on that can. Pretty cool. Uh, a sumptuous orange hue provided by a base of the finest English barley malts uh, to build up a level of sweet malt complexity, balanced with English, New Zealand and US hops, juicy aromas of orange, tropical fruits and citrus orchards. Is that right? Okay, lead to a very uh, pleasing bitterness and cleansing finish. There we go. We've got some hops. We've got Motueka. We've got Amarillo. We've got Centennial. We've got Citra. We've got Cascade. We've got Simcoe and Mosaic. Holy Jesus. Uh, we've got pale malt in there. We've got wheat malt. We've got Munich malt. We've got caramel malt and Vienna malt too. Now, Yesterday's beer uh, was very simple. And if you want to have a look, have a look in my back catalogue. Why don't you click down below, subscribe to the channel, and you can see uh, all the, the, the reviews and the beers that I have. Um, you can also find me on Untapped. There's a short synopsis of the beers on Untapped. So if you don't fancy watching a, a, a review, go to my Untapped and there'll be the beer review on there too. Now, that beer was very simple uh, with a Rhein Hotzkebot kind of thing. Um, whereas this, okay, it's technically, it's only, well, it has wheat in it, but technically it's only molten uh, hops, but ridiculous amount of uh, hops, like ridiculous, and mad amount of hop, uh, mad amount of malts as well. Oh, I'm so tired, dear viewer. I apologise. Things are afoot. Um, and as a result, I'm not sleeping very well, uh, which is a shame. But ah, life happens. Let us get this bad boy into a glass. Oh, we got a bit of foam on that thing. So I have to wipe that on my trousers. Oh, very citrusy, yeah. Liking that, liking that a lot. Right, let's get this bad boy into a glass. And we will see what we have. See if we can get some head out of this thing. I like a bit of head in the morning. 
boom, boom, boom. Forced it a little bit, but well over a finger's head. Not, not as far as two. Here we go, steeple chase. Boom, right a bit further apart. And then that means you can see my cheeky grin there. Wow. <laughs> this reminds me of old school, old school West Coast sort of style IPAs. And I'm glad they didn't call it an IPA. We've got citrus, we've got some pine, we've got orange, I guess orange is a citrus fruit. We've got that weird thing from Centennial, which I always think is a bit like bubble gum. I don't know why, but that's kind of how or what I get from there. There's a bit of sweetness too on the nose. The actual beer, lovely colour, but it's definitely a hazy beer. I would not be surprised if this has been hopped like a bad boy. Uh, there we go. Nice fluffy white head. Lovely, lovely bubbles. Just seeing if it'll focus. Can it focus on the head? Nah, it's not playing ball once again, dear viewer. I've changed the uh, the light in here. And it's a bit brighter than it used to be, but this camera still doesn't like focusing. Um, it focuses on me fine, but every time I bring something up to the camera, it goes out of focus. What can I do? What can I do, dear viewer? So, like I said, this is the final beer from uh, the 10th Beer Awards. And this is the Pale Ale of the Year. Chin Chin. Oh, right. So, nice and mellow, but... The carbon di uh, dioxide or the carbonation of the beer does play a bit of tingly stuff on your tongue. So you wouldn't be able to drink this very fast. Um, also, up front, there's a bit of zestiness. Um, generic citrus, uh, perhaps the orange, perhaps more a kind of grapefruity thing going on. Um, but it's definitely there. Then it gets a bit blurred. You definitely have a lot of fruit, a lot of citrus kind of things. Picking it apart, because there's so many hops in here, might be quite difficult. Um, but it's not a superbly bitter beer, apart from the zestiness up front. So it's not a hop bomb. Um, but yeah, they kind of mold together. Like I say, Definitely orange in there. Yeah, grapefruit, that weird centennial thing, but it gives a bit of pine as well, and the cascade in here, <coughs> as well as citra, and then tropicalness from mosaic and mosaic. And even Simcoe, so there's a bit of juiciness kind of going on. It's a bit too much going on. I mean, it's very nice. It's definitely like a fruity kind of beer. Um, but yeah, it's a bit too merged, a bit too generic, a bit too general. Nothing is standout. There's nothing wrong with this. Is it the best pale ale I've had in 2023 out of the 690? Although I'm drinking this in 24, you understand. I think I've had some better ones. Not the worst one I've had. Meh. No. Nice, uh, nice tide line, nice foam line there. It's like some elephants or camels kind of in a row. Oh. Okay. This time... I'm getting a bit more kind of peachiness in there, which I'm pretty sure is coming from the Cascade. 
might be the centennial because they're related. Um, I suspect, if I remember rightly, uh, centennial comes partly uh, from a cascade parent plant. And yeah, a bit of greenery, a bit of hedgerow in there too. But nothing, like I said before, nothing is standout. It's all very merged together into a murky kind of pot. You know, if you have a soup uh, and it's got loads, say a vegetable soup, um, and unless you're actually chewing on the vegetables, um, say if you've had it blended together, you won't really taste any of the vegetables. You'll just taste a generic vegetable kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think I think they kind of played it a bit safe here. Um, like I said, there's nothing really that stands out from this beer to go, hey, look at me. Um, it is a kind of all things to all men or women. Um, yeah, strange. Oh, lovely, lovely generation of the tidelines there. I do like that. I've always kind of liked that kind of thing. Oh, it's going to make me... <coughs> It's going to make me sneeze. Wow, I wonder what else is in there. My God. Can't be allergy season already, dear viewer. It's only January. Um, unless that pesky cat has been sleeping in this chair, as he as he does. Um, yes, yes, I am allergic to my own cat. Absolutely crazy. And he sleeps with me every night. And I take... <laughs> I take the, um, the tablets everyday citrazine um yeah because otherwise yeah you know, i tried the other one but it just made me really drowsy and sleep and i'm maybe that's why i'm a bit run down who knows right let's drink the rest of this you guys can get on your way yeah much over muchness at the end there as well this is quite a nice beer but is it the best beer, um, the best pale ale in the country in 2023? Uh, I don't think it is, but it is quite nice. If you like your kind of um, mellow, new style pale ales, this one is a nice one to try. But like I said, there's far too much going on. Um, and it's all kind of merged into a weird kind of, beer soup type thing this has been uncle jonah drinking beer so you guys can uh, can watch me and uh, and decide if you'd like to try and try this one um steeplechase pardon me the brewery are up in melton mowbray i believe where the pies come from wow very very gassy i'm not sure why that's come from uh which is leicestershire is that right my eyes have gone. I see the Lincolnshire on Leicestershire. I can't see. I don't know why they put these things. There we go. It is Leicestershire. Melton Mowbray. Melton Mowbray Market. So if you're ever up that neck of the woods, go and stop by. Say Uncle John has sent you. Maybe we'll get some free beers out of it, eh? Who knows? Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will be back with another beer review real soon.